So this video is a bit of an update to last week's video where we talked about everything that we knew about NVIDIA's next generation Ampere graphics cards. And in that video, I talked about how we may get a 3080 and also a 3070. And I speculated that NVIDIA may hold off on the 3080 Ti and maybe release it later on when AMD also releases their next generation Navi 2X cards. Now, we have some information here uh, and it comes from videocards.com and they're saying that Micron has specifically announced memory for a 3090. So it looks as though that we're probably going to get a 3090 at launch uh, or at least it's going to be announced uh, when NVIDIA make their announcement. So let's go to the article first and see uh, what they say. So NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card is listed on the Micron website. With 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, Micron estimates that GeForce RTX 3090 will be able to break the one terabyte per second barrier, with a bandwidth expected between 912 to 1008 gigabytes per second. In order to achieve one terabyte per second bandwidth, the graphics card would require a clock speed of 21 gigabytes, or sorry, 21 gigabits per second, and a memory bus of 384 bits. The speed is clearly not yet set for the NVIDIA SKU, but it should be between 19 and 21 gigabits per second. Now, Micron go on and uh, they, put on the, they put on their website uh, this information graph, effectively saying that the RTX 3090 is coming. And it's looking as though that this will probably come out at the same time as the other cards. Now this information graphic also says that uh, the GDDR6X memory will uh, have a bandwidth of 912 to 1008 gigabytes per second. So this is a huge jump for the 3090. Now the other thing here to note was that Video Cars says that we're looking at a 12 gigabytes per second, sorry, 12 gigabytes GDDR6X memory. Now. Uh, there are also other rumors, uh, particularly on Tweaktown, where they've said that we may get a 24 gigabyte uh, card. So I feel as though 3090 with 12 gigabytes might be a little less. And I, th I think if that this is the case, if Micron is going to come out with a 3090 with 12 gigabyte, I think there is also a 12, uh, 24 gigabyte in the works as well. Because for 12 gigabytes, uh, we've already seen uh, quite a few titles now that at 4K or extra ultra wide. Uh, that that's just not enough for 4K uh, games. So uh, that's the latest news. Um, so it's looking as though we'll definitely see a 3080. It's not certain whether we will see the 3070 at launch, but I'm speculating that it will probably be, probably be there. Uh, they have already decided to end the 2070, the 2080, the and the 2080 Ti. So it's very possible that the 2070 uh, may get replaced. And uh, with this article, it's looking as though that we're going to get a 3090 as well. Now, in terms of the price, I feel as though that the 3080 will probably be about $800. I've seen other people saying it's about 1000 and that could very well be the Founders Edition. Uh, the 3080 could be $1,000 there. But you'd have to expect that the 3090, if it's 30% uh, better performance that it's probably going to be at least twelve hundred to maybe fifteen hundred dollars and Nvidia that's exactly what they want they want to increase the profits each time and this would certainly be a way to do it especially when uh, the AMD cars have not yet hit the market and uh, the 3090 would be way better than anything else that AMD has so it's very possible that we're looking at about $1,500 uh, GPU for the 3090. All right, so that's it for this video. Make sure to hit the like button. And also, if you like these videos, uh, please subscribe to us and then you'll get more videos like this. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.